My name is Nikki De Battista. I'm a research associate at, uh, at CSIC. And uh, I will be presenting to you today an application of distributed fiber optic sensors, which we developed here at CSIC uh, to assist in the construction of tall buildings. Now, this project came about when uh, one of the directors of WSP actually approached me after uh, hearing one of the Pechacucha presentations we were giving um, uh, on the, in the same event four years ago. Um, and propose this, this idea. So we're hoping that, as Robert said, um, through these presentations that we're giving, that we can spark off some, some ideas where we can collaborate between CSIC and our industry partners. So this is an image of how the city of London will, will look like in a couple of years' time. And in this presentation, I'll be talking about this tall building in the foreground called Principal Tower. It's a 50-story residential tower being completed at the moment. But first, I would like to take you back a few centuries and show you how London looked like well before the advent of tall buildings. In the 1600s, the skyline of the city was dominated by church spires. And even in the late 19th century, one could still see the Tower of London stand very prominently as one of the highest buildings in London. But the discovery of structural steel and high-performance concrete started a trend of building upwards in the early 20th century in order to maximize the usage of urban space. So if we fast forward to the present day, you can see that the view from South Bank is now dominated by tall skyscrapers, and the Tower of London is dwarfed by the modern cityscape. This trend of building higher shows no sign of slowing down. In fact, we've seen a record number of tall buildings being approved in London over the past couple of years. This trend is not unique to the UK, of course. This graph here on the right shows the exponential increase in the number of tall buildings being built worldwide every year. But tall buildings come with some unique engineering challenges. One of them is differential shortening. Let's take a building like Principal Tower, which is supported by concrete columns and walls of different thicknesses. From the moment they are built, these elements start shortening due to the load being placed on top of them and due to the changes which happen as the concrete ages. Each element shortens by a different amount, mostly depending on its size and stiffness. So as the building is being constructed, each floor has to be built at a slight angle so that when all the columns shorten as much as they need to, the floors line up. If the contractor gets this wrong, the building will end up having sloping floors and damaged facades. Therefore, it's important for the contractor to be able to measure how much the columns are shortening as the building is going up. But how can we measure the vertical movement of buildings which are tens of stories tall? Traditional surveying techniques provide very limited information at such heights. So contractors have a real challenge on their hands. And this is where we come in. We, de we developed a monitoring system that can continuously measure the shortening of columns and walls during construction using distributed fiber optic sensors. These are ordinary optical fibers, which we transform into a very long sensor that can be used to measure temperature and strain at any point along its length. Very similar in concept to the nerves in our body. Our monitoring system consists of fiber optic cables, which were embedded in the columns and walls of Principal Tower during the construction. Every time a new level was being built, the cables were attached to the reinforcement before being concreted. At the same time, we were constantly measuring the vertical movement of the existing levels from the cables already embedded below. And this is what we measured during the first year of construction, starting in October 2016. On the vertical axis here, we have vertical movement with a downward trend indicating shortening. So in the first few months of construction, we can see that there is very little shortening in the lower levels. However, as the building becomes taller, the existing levels are compressed more and more. At this stage, the first 40 levels of the total 50 had been built. And you can see that one of the columns, the one at the top, has already shortened by about 60 millimeters. The columns, shown in the top two graphs, are shortening much more than the walls in the bottom plots. This is differential shortening. And for the first time ever, we were able to measure it accurately. If we focus on April to August of last year, we can see why it is useful to measure continuously. The building actually isn't shortening monotonically as load is added onto it, as one would expect. There were a number of occasions when the shortening was partly reversed, and these coincide with periods of high temperature, which caused the building to expand and cancel out some of the shortening. And this is just one of the many insights that this monitoring system has given us on the performance of tall buildings. So I'll finish off with the same image that I started with and conclude by saying that through a collaboration with the design engineers and the contractor of Principal Tower, 
we have developed a distributed fiber optic monitoring system that can, that can be embedded in the structure of tall buildings to act as a nervous sensing system and tell us what the building is experiencing, both during and after the construction. So following the successful 20-month trial at Principal Tower, we are now confident that we're ready to roll out this system as a monitoring tool for other tall buildings. Thank you.